I have something very important I've been wanting to get off my chest. The Dark Adventurer sales are garbage and one of the worst additions to Sea of Thieves yet. So let's dig a little bit deeper on that. Sea of Thieves is a game all about cosmetics and expression for not only your pirates, but for your ship as well. One of these cosmetics, the Dark Adventurer sales, are the most expensive item in the game. Not only are they priced at 8,268,750 gold, but you must also be a pirate legend to purchase them. Why are they this expensive, you ask? They feature a cutout at the bottom of the sale to increase visibility, which is the exact reason this item was a horrible addition to Sea of Thieves. So let's talk usefulness. Starting with the sloop, these sails aren't a massive benefit. They're okay. But when you get to the brig and the galley, they do offer much more visibility. Now, if you're good enough helm, which by the time you should, keyword should, be able to afford these, you ought to be, you really shouldn't need these to sail effectively. That being said, many players cheese their way to getting these sales through Alliance servers, which is just farming gold insanely fast with everyone on the same server. Newer players can earn these fairly quickly through organized discords, etc. But that isn't even the main reason these sales are truly awful. Sea of Thieves is a game primarily about cosmetics, considering all players have the same stats. So the core progression is through expressing your personality and experiences through your fashion choices. This is why exclusive and time limited cosmetics are so coveted because it shows how long you've been pirating. Well, due to the perceived advantage of the DA sales cutout, these sales are obnoxiously overused. Now, before these were added, there were definitely sales people used because they felt like it gave them an upper hand, such as the torn Kraken sales. These quote unquote advantages were pretty minuscule, however. But more importantly, the variety and spectrum of sales on the horizon back then was fantastic. This was the true Sea of Thieves experience of self-expression, picking one sale out of seemingly infinite choices to represent you and your crew. Now, all of this has sadly been dulled down by the DA sale meta, but how do we fix this? First and foremost, a lot of people argue that the DA cutout breaks the design principle in Sea of Thieves that all players are on an equal playing field besides their time spent playing, and I suppose if you're on a keyboard versus controller. This is technically true. Players with the gold to purchase these do have a tangible advantage over a brand new player. This isn't the first time Rare has ditched that principle, but ultimately it wouldn't be fair to delete this sale for people who've already purchased it. I think a much more elegant solution would be changing the 8 million gold price tag to be for the cutout itself, not the sale. You'd then be able to apply said cutout to any sale you'd like. There's literally no downside to this solution as players who still want to use the DA sale with the cutout can do that. It would still have a huge gold paywall so people could continue to feel like this would set them apart from the crowd and the beauty of the varied ship cosmetics would finally return to Sea of Thieves. So what do you think? Do you think the Dark Adventure sale should stay how they are? Should we be paying for the cutout instead of the sale? Or do you think the sale and the cutout should just be removed from the game entirely? Let me know in the comments. If you want to stay up to date with PvP news or just the general state of PvP within Sea of Thieves, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you want to try and get a bit better at the game and brush up on your PvP, I have a PvP tips playlist with 44 videos and counting, so be sure to check that out. I also give away exclusive in-game items every Wednesday and occasionally have Twitch drops on my stream at twitch.tv slash blurbs, where I stream every weekday and most weekends. We also have an incredible Discord community. As always, come hang out with us, talk about games, and find people to play with. But besides that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.